Joining us today on Five Alive, hey, this girl is happening. This yeah. is Shania Twain. Shania, I can pronounce her name. Yeah. You probably you say have she's heart. happening. Oh, she's happening. What made Mercury you say, Records. What, Mercury. Made, what made you say that? But, because I know, I know, I know when things are happening, Butch. Shania oh. Twain. She's got a song. It's called What, what Made You Say That. What made you say she's that? She's on the she's on the radio with uh, with this new song, and she's on Mercury Records. We want to welcome you to Oklahoma. How well, you doing? Hi, Shania. Hi. Good to have you here. Where thank are you, you from Thanks originally? For uh, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, well, there's Way some country the music up there, I suppose, North. right? Well, sure there is, sure, certainly. Yeah. Well, tell us about your background. I was reading that uh, you've done some work in the northern woods. And what exactly were you doing in the northern woods? Well, my parents had a reforestation business, which is tree planting. Uh, now, thanks for clearing that up for Butch. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and also mining explorations as well. So uh, I would go in the summer and work with my parents for four to six months out of the year. I was a foreman of the you career. You were a foreman? I was the foreman. Four person. How, how did, Four person. How did, these Four burly, women. how did these burly guys that uh, were These around, lumberjacks. These lumberjacks uh, take to you ordering them around? Well, it would take a couple of weeks <laughs> before they'd come around, but uh, I can keep up with them. Actually, the, the idea is to try and, you know, uh, make them keep up with me, so I got to try and stay ahead of everyone. But uh, you get used to it. I'm a hard worker, so. How did you get into the music business? What, how did that come about? Well, my first stage actually was when I was three years old. Um, I guess I wasn't really, I didn't really enter the industry at that age, but my mother would put me up on restaurant countertops and have me sing to the jukebox. Um, and I, as I grew older, I just basically took it upon myself to make it, you know, make a career out of it. But I've been singing my entire life. Really. How'd you get your big break uh, with Mercury Records? Uh, well, about a year and a half ago, um, I had someone come up from Nashville to uh, see me showcase in a show. In Canada? In Canada. Um, so, I, you know, I, I didn't uh, go up to Nashville before I thought maybe I had a chance there. So I had someone come up, come to me, and they brought me back to Nashville and did a demo on me. Actually, Nora Wilson, who ended up being the co-producer on the album, and he got it to uh, Buddy Cannon, who's the A&R guy over at Mercury, and he got it to Harold Shedd. So it was just a kind of a chain reaction. So how has your fairly quickly. how has your life changed? I mean, you're out of the woods. Drastically. Right? She's out of the woods. <laughs> She's out of the woods, man. Well, you know, the, the the work that I did in the bush was really a seasonal thing, and the in the work winter, in the bush. Yeah, in the, in, in the, the wilderness. Bush. In the bush. <laughs> yeah, in the bush. Yeah. Okay, that's what we call it. Um, but anyway. Um, you know, I, that was a seasonal thing, and I would sing during the winter. So I mean, I've been singing, you know, yeah. performing all my life. Um, but I guess it's true. I, I don't really do the the woods work anymore. I have a retreat still back in Canada that I go to to write music and just to relax. Do you feel uh, country music is bigger in Canada or in the U.S.? Well, it's pretty much the same. I mean, Canada is very, you know, is, is definitely more scarcely uh, populated than the U.S. Um, but it's all relative. I think that there's just as many fans there, country music, especially out in the West. We've got a lot of big country things going on over there. We've got, you know, the rodeos and everything happening out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shania, tell us about that name. How, how did, what does that mean? It, it's an Ojibwe name. A what name? What, Ojibwe. What, 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 what? Ojibwe. Ojibwe. That's like Cherokee or, you know, it's like, it's an Indian okay. name. My father is Ojibwe. And, um, Basically, that's it. There's no meaning to the name. I've asked my grandmother. Yeah. You know, there's got to be some, you know, beautiful, exotic meaning to this name, mm -hmm. Grandma. Make up something. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she said, no, I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> it's just like Susan or whatever. <laughs> so it doesn't mean anything. Um, I suppose I could make something up. Well, sure. We'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> the record is called What Made You Say That. And uh, Shania Twain, we appreciate you stopping by. We wish you the very best Thank in you. your career. Thank you. All right. Thanks for having She's me. She's going to be so so big, not not in, you know, not like this, but just oh. so big, you know, with the rest. <laughs> Not like this. She's in good shape. I can tell. She's she's in shape. She's gonna be so so big. She won't even remember us. Mm -hmm. oh. But that's happened many other many other times, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay, Shania. Thank you. We'll what, be back. What right. made you say that? <laughs> that's the name of a record. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. What, what made you?